All right, let me show you one of the reasons why I love the Epson 6600 so much. So I'm gonna flip the camera here. All right, so this is a 53 inch roll of satin poster paper. I think it's 53 inch. And grouped on this small portion of that paper, I've got five jobs. So we've got the big banner there, which is 50 inches wide, 50 by 16 inches. So that's 25 euro. You've got the two baby prints there. One of them's 15, the other one's 20. We've got them four A4 football posters that somebody wanted me to print for them. And then I designed this Manchester United one. Went in the FA Cup. Uh, so that's 15. Two baby ones are 35. So that's 50 altogether. For these four football ones, I'll probably charge 10 or so 60. And then for this banner, our banners are 25, so that's 85. So on that small portion of paper, I've got 85 euro. So you can hear the fans going there now, straining them. But uh, the speed of it too is is fantastic. Uh, they're very very fast at printing. Uh, two print heads on it. So it's a lot faster than the HP Design Jet Z6 down there that I was using for the past few years. Might sell that now actually. But, uh, yeah, now I just got to get these all cut out. So yeah, it's a, it's been a game changer for me. This printer it really has. Uh, I've got you know I've most of it paid for. I'm just paying just under 600 a month now until July. So what is it now? Three more payments. Three more payments of just under 600 and then that'll be it paid for. Uh, the inks are getting a little bit low now. I'm just trying to show you them here. So that is, I got this the second week of January. It's been printing more or less every day, five days a week, five, six days a week. Uh, and that's what's left on the inks. Uh, I'm not, I haven't filled them, refilled them yet. I think it's around eight, nine hundred euro to refill all these. But bear in mind that these are seven hundred mils of ink, and the ink on the HP Design Jet is only three hundred mils, and these ones cost more. So it's one hundred and forty-two euro and fifty cent to get one of these inks for the for the Z6. Uh, but. I think it's 130 something each for one of these the next day honestly i don't know how i've been managing without the epson 6600 here for for the two years that i've been in this studio if you have been following my videos for any length of time you know that i have been doing all my wide format printing on the hp design jet c6 but i'm kind of limited with that because it's only 24 inches wide and there's only so many different substracts that you can not print on with it, but with the Epson here, you could pretty much nearly print on anything. I've got a front lid banner in it right now, ready to print an 8x4 uh, four banner, but revenue has just kind of hit another level since I got this thing, and it's probably overtaken the Konica down in the corner there for printing, or for, for income, uh, so, yeah, so like I say, I've got a big front lid banner in it at the minute, just have to hit the print button actually okay there we go so yeah like I say revenue has just hit a different level now since I got that uh, let me just flip the camera around here and show you okay so here is three pull-up banners so we've got two different customers here and <clears throat> so these are 90 euro a piece Plus the design works so we've got two designs there so what's that 90 90 and 90 390s is 170 and then the design work you're probably going to throw in another 50 there so there's okay so here is three pull-up banners that i have done between yesterday and today and uh, i'm blocking the front door here because it's saturday and i close on a saturday so I keep the door locked. I just kind of come down and try and catch up on some stuff. But yeah, this is this three pull-up banners, 90 euro a piece these are here, plus the design work. So there's two designs done. 
two different customers. So 390s is what 270 plus yeah, factor in another 50 for designs. So there's 320 plus I got this little sign here. 320 out of 30 there's 350 and then this big pull up front lid panel that's going to come out that's going to be another 80 so that is what that's four I can't remember what I said 450 maybe all together in here right now and you know that's 450 that I wouldn't have been fit to make last year because the HP design Z6 wouldn't have been fit to produce these things so it's definitely a game changer for me the, the Epson uh, I have been looking at a laminator if I there's a laminator for sale. I'm trying to haggle a little bit, trying to get the, trying to negotiate a wee bit with it. Somebody probably come in and snap it up while I'm doing that. But uh, yeah, so all I have to do is add a laminator to this, and it's, it's nearly complete, guys. The, the studio it's, it's almost complete. Well, it'll never be complete, I guess. But in terms of what I need for the Epson here, it will be nearly complete. Uh, the HP here. We just flip this one more time. I've got to get a different camera. I'm using the DJI Osmo, Osmo handheld thing here they attach the phone to. Yeah, so the HP here, it doesn't get much use now. Uh, but I did use it this morning and I had to print a poster, uh, 50 by 70 centimeter poster and I didn't want to load up the, the 54 inch roll onto this just to print that. So I used the HP but I was kind of startled to see that I've lost about... 15% of the inks that were in it so I'm assuming it's just self cleaning all the time and uh, yes 15% of the inks could be gone out of this thing in I don't know what five six months probably uh, so I'll probably stick it up for sale now I don't know what I'd get for it maybe about 1500 it is near you know there's four inks there at around 75% I think there's one at around 50% and then there's one at 25%. I'll just check here actually. So the inks alone would be worth about 600, 600 or 700 the inks is in it, maybe 6. But um, yeah, this, you know, this thing is fantastic. I have to say, really fantastic. Inks are getting a little bit low on it now, so I'm going to have to fork out about a thousand for them. And then there is uh, just a couple of rows, stuff running low, my pull-up banner is running low, I'll probably have to, have to get one of them soon. And a couple of other things getting low, there's... Uh, Yes, but uh, yeah, it is. It is amazing. This is a eight foot by four foot front lid banner. This material it doesn't have the same kind of sheen as you get on the on these ones. You know, these are nice and kind of a satin kind of effect to them. But with the front lid stuff, it's, it seems to be more of a matte effect. Some people like that though. Okay, so let's see what we've got. This is a... We've got monomeric vinyl. No, that's the... That's the polymeric vinyl. That's the expensive one. This is the monomeric vinyl. Short term. Long term. Uh, this is a... Laminate. Gloss laminate. And then I've got a satin poster paper here. I've got my pull-up banner material. You can see it's getting low. Canvas, canvas, a couple of different canvases upstairs. And uh, this is a one-way vision film. Uh, I tried printing on it once. I did have issues. What was happening was this was coming. The film was coming off the back end whilst it was in the printer and then I was getting a lot of head strikes so I had to cancel the print because um, I don't want to be forking out on a couple of new print heads if they're around 2,000 each yeah so there's about 
450 euro worth of jobs in here ready to be picked up by customers as a result of getting the apps in here so great buy great buy for my business um, like I say in other videos I think it was around 8,000 in the plot or on the rip software with the computer were 13 something uh, a lot of money but in this industry you gotta spend money to make money and with the apps in here I'm definitely making money anyway hope you liked the video guys if you did and you want to see more about what's going on here in the Britain studio then subscribe to the channel